Hello and welcome to the Blytheway Mining Show on Core London TV. I'm Bonnie Hughes. Today I am joined by Thor Exploration. CEO Sagan Lawson is here to tell us about some very impressive drill results that they came out today. They have projects in um, Senegal, Nigeria, and a JV with Acacia in Burkina Faso. Please tell us the significance of these drill results that came out today. Thank you very much. Um, thanks for having me back again. Good to see you. Um, these drill results are extremely encouraging. You know, they're the next phase on from our preliminary feasibility study, which we filed in October last year, uh, which we were already encouraged by. This project was ordinarily a high-grade project, grading at 4.2 grams per tonne. Uh, we've gone on and followed on from that and drilled some previously untested areas of our resource. Um, and we've also aimed to drill some areas which have been inferred to convert them to indicated so we can include them in our mine plan. Um, the results were extremely encouraging. We had a great intersection of five and a half meters wide at 30 grams per ton, wow. which included a meter wide intersection at 117 grams per ton. We also had an 11 meter wide intersection, 9.7 grams per ton, which ha probably has the, the highest grade we've ever hit on this project, which was uh, half a meter, 151 grams per ton. Is this, this is near surface? This is around about between 60 and 110 meters. Uh, so still within the pit, still mm -hmm. within the open pit. And we've got some drill holes coming in in, in the uh, underground, pr pr proposed underground uh, area um, and this over is, the next few weeks. And this is your project in Nigeria? This is our Sagalolo project in Nigeria, our so-called flagship. Yes. Uh, yes, um, our 100 percent owned project. And that's the one that um, you won the, sort of the Indaba Mining of the Year award this in February? Yes, yes. So building on from that, we've got a lot of momentum. Obviously, that happened earlier this year than these drill results. and. Not only are we doing these uh, resource drill drilling, we're actually doing some definitive feasibility study work streams. So we've got some geotech drilling going on. We've completed our MET drilling, and we start a LIDAR program uh, next week, actually. Yeah. And you just completed a private placement of 4.2 million Canadian, which uh, will help you to be fully funded for all of the plans that you have on your projects this year. Yes, so that um, $4.2 million is going to fund our definitive feasibility uh, study work streams, uh, including this ongoing drill program. And also on our second project in Senegal, we have an 8,000 meter drill program, which is ongoing there as well. So expect some news there as well over the next three weeks. Uh, yeah, so we have news flow coming from two projects. And uh, yeah, we're fully funded in terms of our DFS. And so is this the initial drill results from your program and how many more drill results do we have left to see? Yeah, so the, the drill program was designed to test three things. It had three main object objectives. The first one was obviously to improve the grade uh, in some high-grade areas, get better definition, um, improve the grade of the resource, and we think we're ticking that box quite nicely, as you can see. The second one was to convert from inferred to indicated, so um, use some more in our economic analysis. And the third objective was to, to test this resource at depth. We believe this is an open pit and underground uh, proposed mine. And we're going to learn a lot about this open pit to underground transition, and that's what this drill program is doing. These results are from the first phase, so we've managed to uh, drill the areas we haven't tested before, and we're very happy with what we have. We've actually drilled some more untested areas, and we're looking at, at, at depth. We like what we've pulled out of the ground, and we'll wait and see uh, what those results are. And then uh, following on from that, we're going to put, I think, maximum three, between two and three deep holes underneath some of these high-grade shoots in these drill targets to see how much deeper this uh, gold resource goes. Our deepest hole so far has uh, intersected the ore body, uh, so we haven't closed out this resource at depth in a number of areas already. So it's open in all directions at the moment, you're saying? It's, it's certainly open at depth, and uh, we're, we're trying to understand the geology to the north uh, as well. But in terms of our exploration license, we do have, the anomaly does continue running, so a lot more uh, work is required to actually figure out where to drill and uh, see if we can increase the resource that way as well. And so you still ha are working on Senegal at the same time? Yeah, in Senegal, uh, obviously we had some great results there last year. Uh, we did a 2,000 meter drill program and every drill hole there was mineralized. We have a discovery there, we haven't quantified it. The major milestone in Senegal is a maiden resource. Uh, we expect to do that in Q3 this year. We have an ongoing 8,000 meter drill program uh, going on over there. And yeah, we will have some 
uh, releases as we receive the results. So in May, uh, in particular, we should have our first set of results out of Senegal. That's excellent. I mean, both projects running at the same time, nice diversification, lots of news flow for investors going forward. And um, that, that's fantastic, uh, making a DFS, because when you have a DFS, usually you attract um, a higher level of investor at that point. We certainly hope so. Um, at DFS, we're going to be raising uh, an order of magnitude larger than we've ever raised before. Uh, the CapEx requirement for this project is about $72 million. Uh, we're going to be raising debt and equity to build this project. Uh, so yes, as you say, it's, uh, we're hoping to attract that sort of step up in, in investor. And so are you in discussions right now with debt providers? Uh, no, we're not. Not yet. Uh, we've obviously done a market sounding and we're getting the news out. But to be fair, it's full steam ahead on the DFS. Uh, we have our hands really full. Um, and yeah, we're running the various DFS programs and the Senegal drilling program as well. That's excellent. And um, is there anything happening with your project with Acacia? Yes. So in uh, that project in Burkina Faso is in obviously on the, in the southwest Burkina on the central on the Hyundai Greenstone Belt. Acacia have all the funding obligations and they're the operator of that project. So they continue to advance that project. In fact, they're starting an RC drill program there next month. Um, so technically, we do have uh, drilling on all three of our projects going on next month. Um, yeah, so as we receive that um, uh, news, we will release that as well to the market. On that project, we're 49%, uh, we have a 49% interest in the JV, and in case you're earning it up to 80%. So at PFS, we'll be left with a residual 20%. And that's fine. That's great. Yes, I mean, if, if they find something big and good enough for them, 20% would be really good for us, yeah. That's excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we look forward to all of these exciting drill results because, I mean, it's, those grades are quite good. Haven't seen that kind of grades in a while. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us on the Blytheway Mining Show. Look forward to seeing you again. Have a very profitable day.